this is a big one for Pilates instructors because the contraindication is loaded flexion. That includes most seated exercises unless you can sit them in a neutral posture and maintain that position through the exercise. Classic seated rowing on the reformer. That is seated with legs crossed in front of you. How many of your clients can actually sit up straight with their legs in front of them on the floor? None. And that's some of our exercises are in that posture. So if we're putting them in that posture, that we're loading them in flexion already. So what does that mean? We can't do any seated exercises? No, we just have to modify them. So I do a lot of my rowing work and seated on top of the box on the reformer. Because on the box, I can get their legs straddled on the side and I can get them to pull up their pelvis and get into a neutral spine position. And then they're much more likely to maintain that. There is no way to do a roll up or a roll down without loading inflection. If they're strong and they can maintain a neutral, you can do a flat back hinge. You could forward bend with your back totally straight, but you can't forward bend with the back bend unless you're in all fours. So I can do cat because I've got my weight distributed on all fours. I can do elephant with my hands on the foot bar and my feet on there because I am distributing the weight on all fours. But I wouldn't let go of the bar and stand up rolling my spine up. That's going to load me.